So today I have a very interesting video for you guys. We got 50 Cent going to jail, Drake sick in the goons on people. It's going to be a crazy video and let's get this started. So here's the story. A guy by the name of Mike G said that he worked for Chris Brown since 2012. He says that everything was good until last month. Chris Brown took him inside of a room, hit him with a couple left right punches, gave him an atomic wedgie, sent him to the ER and now he's suing Chris Brown. Now, this is what Chris Brown had to say. He responded on Instagram. Okay, you knew it was coming. You knew it was fucking coming. I'm on this goddamn light to make it seem more serious. <laughs> okay. Niggas is getting mad and filing lawsuits because I fired them because they're stealing money. You're stealing money, pal. So... You're mad because you're no, no longer existent. It's all right. We're going to keep pushing. God bless you. Wish you the best of luck. So Chris Brown is saying, look, man, I fired you because you stole my money. What do you expect me to do? Now, this guy is saying that Chris Brown beat him up. Who knows what really happened in the situation? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Chris Brown is known for having people beat up. Whether they did something right or wrong, I don't know. Now, this is for all the guys out there and also for the ladies that like ladies, if you're into that kind of thing. Now, there's a new chick that's taking over the Internet, so to speak. People are saying she's breaking the Internet with her butt and she's becoming the next Kim K. I got to stop them right there. There's only one Kim K. Now, when it comes to money, very few of these Instagram models will become Kim K, man. But I stick to that, right? This chick does have a huge badonka donk and she's being celebrated as the queen of Instagram. Now, her name is Randlin. Now, since she has been discovered by a few people, she's actually doing quite good for herself. She has a website that charges people to check out pictures of her. Now, I'm not into that stuff. I'm not about to pay freaking $9.99 a month just to view pictures from a girl. No, thanks. I'm good. But I'm pretty sure there's people out there that are willing to do that. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about this chick. Now, this has been circulating all around the Internet, but 50 Cent got arrested in the Caribbean and all he did was say a few bad words. Yes, I kid you guys not in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, wherever you're not allowed to curse in public. I kid you guys not. I've even heard Drake tell stories how he was rapping and all of a sudden the cops approach him and Beanie Man had to tell the cops, you know what? Chill out, man. Everything is going to be okay. He was about to get arrested. So it's crazy to find out today that 50 Cent was arrested for performing the PIMP song. So allegedly, he got arrested for saying the word motherfucker. And this situation is nothing new. The same thing happened to DMX back in 2003. So I'm letting you guys know, man. If you're a rapper and you're going to the Caribbean, you guys may want to freaking pull out your Walmart CDs and just play that and just... Just don't curse. Why the hell are these guys hiring rappers to rap, but they don't want them to curse? They better just hire Matty B, right? Now, this situation gets pretty sad because Little Boozy posted a video on Instagram and it shows him in a hospital. It seems that Little Boozy got pretty sick last night. You guys watch this video and I'll talk to you guys in a second. I was in Georgia. I wasn't, be, wasn't able to make the show last night on the way to the show. I got real sick, real dehydrated. Start throwing up. My diabetes was fucking me. And they had to rush me to the hospital, so I got real sick. Uh, I'm about to check out now, man. I'm gonna make it up to you. Man. However, I gotta make it up to you. I'm gonna make it up to you. I just got sick. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. It's scary seeing a guy in the hospital, especially what happened a few months ago. I don't know if you guys remember this, but. Little Boosie was saying something down the lines of he thought he had cancer. Supposedly they removed it or something like that down the lines. And it was just horrible to hear, man. The guys went through a lot and I don't want to see anyone get cancer. I like Little Boosie's music and I would hate for anything like that to happen to him. You guys let me know what you think about this situation in the comment section below. Moving on to other news. And I did a story on this about a few days ago. I told you guys exactly about this story, but now pictures are starting to emerge about this situation. Now, as you guys can see here, these are pictures of Drake's former producer, Detail. Now, allegedly, 
Detail was beat up by Drake's bodyguard, which is hilarious because Drake's bodyguard, which is Chubbs, is also his manager. So supposedly Chubbs beat up Detail. And I don't know what's going on with these dudes, man. If a rapper or a singer that wants to be a rapper calls you down in a room or a dungeon or something like that, man, don't go in there because you're probably about to get freaking beat up. I guess it's cool. You probably want to go in there. You're a dude. Don't go in these secret rooms that they're telling you to go into. So Drake's manager slash bodyguard Chubbs allegedly beat up this dude, put him in the hospital. And these are the pictures that we are now seeing on TMZ. So now Detail is suing Drake. Moving on to the last story, and this is a very serious issue that just needs to be talked about and needs to be fixed, all of the above. Now, we're going to be talking about Meek Mill. I'm not saying that Meek Mill needs to be fixed. I like Meek Mill's music. I'm talking about this story. Now, Meek Mill posted a story on Instagram, and it shows a picture of a man that was in prison for 26 years after a woman dreamed that the guy raped her. So after being in prison for 28 years, he was finally freed. Wow. Talk about amazing, right? Now, that's pretty sad, right? The woman dreamed that this guy raped her, so they put him in jail for her dreams. That's some crazy stuff, right? I mean, the other day I dreamed that I was a millionaire. Is the government going to give me that money? Please? Just saying. This is Dom is Live. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out. You guys have a great day. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. I do this daily. Don't miss another video. Thank you, guys. I love you all.